hi guys how you guys doing you're welcome to my channel i would love to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you and thank you very much i really appreciate you guys and please if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button thank you on today's video we'll be cutting a line gown so now let me place my fabric on the table so guys i've placed my fabric on the table because this gown this a-line gown has a zipper at the front will come in for the zipper by one inches is one inches one inches one inches so i'll connect this straight down i'm done with the connecting of the one inches now the measurement i'm working with for this gown the length of the gown is 38 the shoulder is 14 the bust is 44 while the hip is 45 and the waist is 40 i'm starting with the start start up line i'll come here by one inches and mark one inches connect those lines together this is the start up line next thing we have to do is to get the width of the neck when you want to get the width of your neck you would not start from this one this one inches mark you not start from there you start the measurement after the one inches mark like this the width of my neck is three inches so i'll be doing three by three inches now connect this together Okay, this three by three. Then now we get the shoulder. The shoulder we're working with is 14. 14 divided by two will give me seven. So this is my seven inches mark here. And I'll come down from the seven inches mark by one inches. So now I'll connect this one inches to this neck width on a slant line. This is, you know, our shoulder is not straight. So this is for the shoulder slope. You can see the way I connect this. This is the one inches mark. Now we have to get the chest line. To get your chest line, you have to divide your bust by six plus 1.5. Okay, the bust I'm working with is 44. 44 divided by six plus 1.5. When you divide 44 by six to give you seven point two five so this is seven point two five here then now you add one point five to this one point five to this measurement when you want to put down your chest line you put it on this one inches mark on this one inch you know we came down by one inches that's where you put your ham hole measurement also known as the chest line so this is after this one inches mark you can see where i put it now everything all together is 8.75 so now mark my 8.75 here then i will check what we have from this startup line we have 9.75 so now i'll do the same thing here so this is the chest line so now you just connect this together this is my chest line then after getting to your chest line, you have to get your bust point. The bust point I'm working with is 12 inches. So I'll come down by 12 inches and mark 12 inches. And I'll connect this line also together. This is the bust point line. Then after getting your bust point line, you have to get your waistline. The waist line I'm working with is 19 inches. So this is my 19 inches here. Then I'll mark 19 inches. Then now let's get the length of this gown. The length of the gown we are working with is 38. So now we'll mark 38 here. Then I'll add two inches for folding allowance, which will make it 40. I'll come to this other side also and mark 
38 this is my 38 inches mark here then plus two inches for the folding allowance that will make it 40. now let me connect these lines together so guys i don't know my camera was not showing the length of the gown you can see now this is the length of the gown i added two inches to it now we are done with getting the length of the gown now we'll work on the ham hole next we have to do is to come down you know here we have seven inches this is my seven inches mark here i'll come here also and mark seven inches on the chest line so after marking the seven inches we'll connect the lines together i will just check what i have here and divide it by two i have 8.75 here then i'll divide this by two dividing this by two gives me 4.5 so now come in for the front by 0 0.75 i came in by 0 0.75 because we are cutting the front and i will connect this from this one inches mark we came down here like this and i will use my french curve to get the ham hole okay you can see how it is we get the bust measurement the bust i'm working with is 44 44 divided by 4 give me 11 inches so i'll mark my 11 inches here i'll come down to the bust point also and mark 11 inches the waist we are working with is 40. 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. So I'll mark my 10 inches on the waist line. Like this. The hip. Because it's an airline gown, you don't need the hip. Because we'll just be connecting this from the waist to the hem of the gown. For the hem line, is the hip line will drop on the hem line. So the hip we're working with is 45. 45 divided by 4 will give me 11.25. So now mark my 11.25 here. And I'll come to the hemline also and mark 11.25. You can see how it is now. We are seeing this. So now let's add our seam allowance. Because this is an airline gown, we'll be adding 3 inches on the hem of the gown. So now add this three inches. This is my three inches mark here. So now let's go to the bust. Let's add our sewing allowance to the bust. So for the bust, I'll be adding two inches for the bust. One inch is for ease and one inch is for seam allowance. So these two inches, I'll add these two inches here and come to the bust point also and add two inches then i'll come to the waist and add two inches also so now connect this together i'll be connecting from the chest line to the waist i will now connect from the waist to the hem line it's not straight to give us a hay shape Okay guys, you can see how this looks. So now I'll cut this out, then we'll cut the back pattern also. So guys, I've folded my back pattern. You can see the back is on fold because the back is not having a zipper. The zipper is at the front. So now we'll just mark the neckline. The neckline I'm working with for the back, I'll come down by 1.5 inches and mark so this is the back neckline so i'll just connect this like this so now let me cut this out and i will cut the back neckline also so guys i'm done with the cutting of the back and the front of the gown next thing we have to do is to unfold this one inches mark we have here to move the pins 
and slash this open so i'll be opening this because it's a zipper so we'll just open this out so guys i'm done with the cutting of the front and the back of the gown you can see the front is in two pieces why the back is on fold so now let's cut out the facing for the front and the back and this is the facing for the back i'll just cut this out like this and cut this so 1.25 1.25 i mean to say 1.75 not 25 now cut this out this is the back facing you can see it's on fold so now we'll cut the front facing so now guys i'm done with the cutting of the facing for the front and the back now let's cut out the sleeve yes let's cut out the sleeve the sleeve we're working with we're working with the basic sleeve and the fleece sleeve so we're cutting out the basic sleeve first i have a link below on how to draft a basic sleeve so we just do this sharp sharp so now the length of the sleeve is 11. this 11 is plus joining allowance joining for the hope and joining the flay to the basic sleeve so i'll just make it 11 inches and i'll mark 11 inches here also and connect together so i'll come down by five inches i have a link below on how to draft the basic sleeve please check the link below so guys i'm done with the cutting of the basic sleeve you can see how it is this sleeve like i said has a flay at the down the full length is 18 inches by the time we move 10 inches from you know we cut out 11 inches this 11 inches is plus sewing that was and join the sleeve up and join the flay to the sleeve also we have to cut the remaining eight inches for the flay so now to cut that, I've cut out my pieces of fabric I'll be using to cut out the flay. The round sleeve, when I mean the round sleeve, the round, this is where the sleeve, the basic sleeve will stop. This is where the basic sleeve will stop and the flay will stop somewhere here. If you can see the top nail. So now this round sleeve here is 13 inches. So you divide that 13 inches by 4. 13 divided by 4 will give you 3.25. So now to get that 3.25 you place your tape you can see the way i set my tape and you place it like this to get the 3.25 yeah you mark here first and you come here and check what we have and mark so now i will check what we have here i have two inches here and i'll check what i have here i have two inches here also so now I'll mark this two inches and I will be marking from this angle. This is the radius. So I will just mark my two inches like this and mark two inches and mark two inches. So now connect the lines together. 3.25 so now let's get the length of the flay the length of the flay we are working with is 8 inches so now I'll just mark my 8 inches here and come here also and mark 8 inches and mark here also 8 inches I'll connect these lines together I'll cut out the radius so guys i'm done with the cutting of the sleeve this is the basic sleeve please i have a link below on how to draft the basic sleeve please click on the link below so you can know how to draft a perfect basic sleeve 
So this is my basic sleeve and this is the flay. This flay, we don't have to slit it open. We just cut it directly. So we just put it, fix it on the basic sleeve. When we get there, we'll do that together. So now let me keep this sleeve outside. We'll be working on the gown now. First thing, we'll work on the back. We'll go to the sewing machine and I will be turning the neck of the back like this. Now pin this down for you to see. So now go to the sewing machine and sew this down on half inches. This is for the back, so we'll put this aside. Then for the front piece, we'll also turn, be turning the neckline also. But before we turn that, because we'll fix the zip, I'll fold in the two inches I have for the hemline. I'll fold it first. I'll fold it to this extent and I will stop. Then we'll fix the zip for the front. And I would turn the front facing also. All right, guys, I'm done with the turning of the back neckline. Now we'll just launch this like this. When you are done launching this, you turn it to the other side. So now use Emmy gum to hold this down. So now let's keep this aside and let me explain the front. Guys, this is the front of the gown. You can see I fold in the two inches for folding allowance. And I didn't fold it to the end. When we join the back to it, we'll continue the folding and see how it is and I've fixed in my zip I've turned in the neckline also you can see I will launch this and turn it to the back and use my emmy gum to hold it in place now let me do this and show you guys what it looks like all right I'm done with the pressing of the facing you can see how it is so now I'll go to the sewing machine and I'll be joining the gown on half inches at the shoulders. So now let me pin this down. All right, guys, I'm done with the pinning of the gown. Now I'll go to the sewing machine and I'll be sewing the shoulder on half inches. Hi, right, guys, I'm done with the joining of the shoulders of the gown. Now we have to join the side of the gown one inches and please i drop a link below on how to fix a perfect inseam pocket your gown is not complete without a pocket so i've gone ahead to fix my pocket already you can see how pretty it's sitting now just mark one inches for the seam allowance mark one inches because it's one inches we added you know, we added one inches for the ease and one inches for the seam allowance. So now I will mark this and go to the sewing machine. I will be joining this this side and the other side together. Now let me do that and show you what it looks like. Hi right, guys, I'm done with the joining of the sides. Now we have to fold the hem of our gown. I will continue the folding all around. Now let's put this aside so we can work on the sleeve. I'll be going to the machine now. I'll join the sleeve on one inches and I'll be joining the flay to the sleeve and fold the hem of the flay. So guys, I'm done with the hemming of the gown. Now let's fix the sleeve. And you can see, I'm done with the joining of the sleeve also and I'll fix the basic sleeve to the flay sleeve. Now we'll fix the sleeve to this gown. I'll make a launch at the end of my sleeve. So now I'll make this joining of the sleeve to join the joining of the sides of the gown like this and pin down while this launch of the sleeve will be facing this joining at the shoulder. Turn it to this side. I'll turn it to this other side and I'll be sewing on half inches. Let's take it one more time. The joining of the sleeve and the joining of the sides of the gown will be facing each other like this and this launch part at the end of the sleeve will be joining with this shoulder like this. 
So now I'll go to the sewing machine and I will join this together all round. And I will join the, the other sleeve also to the gown. All right, guys. I'm done with the fixing of the sleeve to the gown. You can see how it is. And please, guys, don't forget to fix an inseam pocket to your gowns. I have a video below on how to fix a perfect inseam pocket. Please don't forget to click on the link. Thank you guys for watching to the end. I really appreciate you guys. See you on my next one. God bless you.